Hi guys, and welcome to another episode of The Jungle. Hey guys, it's Sienna, and I have a few announcements for you. First of all, we have a week off of school, the 24th through the 28th of October, for fall break. If you're in town, you should come out and support volleyball. We have a home game the Thursday the 27th, and it's their senior night, so come and support. If you can't make it to that, we have a football game that night as well, and it's at Carson. Thank you everyone for coming out to Senior Sunrise. We hope you had a great time. Here's a wrap-up. starting this new series called Tigers in the Jungle and our first suspect is going to be Mrs. Morgan. I was born and raised in Southern California and my husband and I moved up here 30 years ago. Uh, my husband was a, is a school te was a school teacher at the time, and he thought we should move us and our family up here, where the sky is blue and the water is pure, and it's not congested like Southern California. So that's what got us up here. I was a manager for a retail clothing chain that was pretty popular at the time. It was called Miller's Outpost, and I was their corporate flagship store manager. And um, I asked to move up here, and that's how we got up here actually originally was with my job. And so, no, I hadn't ever thought I was going to work in a school. When Pawalu opened up, my husband told me that, Leah, this would be a great job to raise the kids because we'd have the same kind of schedule. And that's how I got to be in the job of um, a classified job at, in the district. And at first, I got to be real honest with you, I wasn't really happy because. Um, I forgot what it was like to be a kid. And when I first went to Pawalu, the first year it opened, um, I was used to people doing what I said because I'd been in management and the kids were a little um, rebellious. I can remember one thing happened the very first couple of years I worked at Pawalu and there was a young man and I really liked him. He was a little wayward, but he ended up losing his life because he went for a joy ride in a car and he went out to the sand pits and he literally got scalped because his car turned and died and, and I was really mad and I was really praying about it and um, then the Lord reminded me that I did something very similar when I was younger. I of course didn't die, thank the good Lord for that, but what started happening is I started remembering when I was younger, which helped me relate to the kids more. And um, and that's when I knew that the Lord had put me there for a reason, because I do believe that there are no accidents when it comes to life choices. I think that we have choice, but I think that when we make choices, God can always use it. So I think that all of my um, managerial experience and hiring and, and being a, a personnel manager at one time and stuff because I hired kids um, brought me to this place where I could really relate to them. Your relationship with Miss Morgan? You know, I feel like we're friends. So I talk to her every once in a while about certain things, sometimes classes. She always sees how I'm doing with everything too. And do you feel like she provides comfort and really cares about you? Yeah, she does, a lot. She cares about everyone. Okay. So, what is your personal relationship with Mrs. Morgan? She's like a mother to me, I don't know. She's like, she cares, she's funny. She makes me happy every day. All right. And what's, what's, your, like, what's your favorite thing about her? Her personality, you know. Go, go into depth on that. All right. Well, she, uh, I don't know, she like actually cares about you. Like every day she asks how you're doing. Uh, she gives you food in the morning. Uh, she just checks up, to, checks up on you unexpectedly. So, yeah. <laughs> we love Miss Morgan. And 
so I try to live life thinking the best instead of the worst. Um, one of the kids said that it would be fun to catch people doing things wrong. I don't want to catch people doing things wrong. I want to help them make better choices because you guys have so much more life to live. Thank <laughs> you.